This is a demonstration of a package made in uh, Wolfram Mathematica that is designed to emulate or to perform software pulse width modulation. It is based on the uh, library from, uh, uh, from Gordon's projects at uh, wiringpi.com. I've uh, essentially just built Mathematica wrappers for his functions. On the left-hand side here, we see my Raspberry Pi connected to a couple LEDs, 1K resistors, and uh, each one of the LEDs is set to one of the uh, 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 GPIOs, none of which are GPIO 18, which is the one that uh, has hardware uh, uh, pulse width modulation. The package, which you can find uh, uh, on my uh, um, GitHub um, portion, uh, or set of, uh, of software, contains a variety of functions. Right now it just contains uh, a couple simple read and write commands along with the pulse width modulation. So we can, for example, set the mode of a pin and then turn it either on or turn it, uh, turn it off. The uh, uh, pulse width modulation is done first by creating a, uh, uh, the pin as a, so this sets the pin's mode as pulse width modulation, and it sets an initial brightness scaled, scaled from 0 to 100. It always helps if you write the, uh, uh, the correct function. I find that using the correct functions is, uh, is, is key. And then if we want to change that value of a pin that has already been assigned as a, uh, as a pulse width modulation pin, we use the command update, and that changes its, uh, its brightness. I'm going to go ahead here and show that we can use uh, uh, shell commands and just reset my pins. And I wanted to show a couple of the functions that I have uh, uh, I've created to uh, to demonstrate how we might use uh, pulse width modulators in Mathematica. First one is a, uh, a flickering command. I was originally inspired to write this software based on some uh, uh, code that I've seen on the web on making or simulating a candle flicker using, uh, uh, using LEDs. My implementation here takes advantage of a binomial distribution. The function in Mathematica accepts two parameters. One is the average and the, uh, 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 the p-value for that particular distribution. P-values can range from 0 to 1. A 1 would mean that there is a, a very sharp distribution, so we won't see any flicker. And a very low value would mean that we would see a large flicker. So the way this would uh, uh, be implemented is to just type in line pi flicker, tell us what pin we're going to be flickering, the initial brightness or the average brightness, and a, uh, a flicker uh, value that ranges from 0 to 1. And there we go. We've got a little bit of a, uh, a flickering going on there. Just to be uh, uh, extreme, I do have a function called halt to stop any uh, uh, any scheduled tasks that are currently going. Let me go ahead and set a very low p-value, which would mean lots of wind or lots of flicker, and we should see it's a little bit easier to see in this uh, in this video like so. Okay, go ahead and halt that again. Another uh, uh, another function that I have included in this uh, uh, in this package is fading. All of these use a, a schedule task to uh, adjust the brightness of the pin in the background. It, uh, in my experience, we can run maybe one or two of these in the background without a significant hit on, uh, on performance. Hopefully, when, I, when my Raspberry Pi 2 comes in, we can uh, push this a little bit further, but I'm not one of the fortunate people that got one yet. Not that I'm bitter. 
Uh, what we have here is a fade timer, and that fade timer just gets incremented by the function, uh, and we look at the sign uh, of that value, rescale the sign to numbers that the uh, uh, pulse width modulator will accept, and update that every, uh, every 10 milliseconds. So what does that look like? Again, we need to tell it what pin we're going to be fading. We need to tell it a, uh, a frequency value, which just adjusts the uh, um, uh, the speed of the of the frequency of the, uh, of the fade. And there we are. We get a nice uh, nice little up and down effect. And the last one, just to uh, you know demonstrate that uh, we can do weird things, even though we may not have a reason to do them. Um, what I've done here is set a symbol that is the solution, numerical solution to the differential equation that corresponds to a bouncing ball. And I use that as the input to the uh, uh, pulse width modulation updater. And what I should see then is a flickering uh, that corresponds to a, uh, a ball bouncing. Let's see if uh, uh, you agree. Bounce six. Oops, it's just wiring pi bounce. So it starts off high. Frequency looks like it starts to get faster and faster, and then it should go down to zero, and then it bounces back up to the top. And the reason why it starts uh, starts over again, I put this mod function in here because the numerical solution only goes out for 100 iterations. And once we hit 100 iterations, I didn't want the uh, uh, numerical solution to explode, so I just repeat. And so it gets faster, or it gets uh, higher intensity, starts to bounce, 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 and then uh, eventually comes back up to the top. So that's pulse width modulation on the Raspberry Pi using Mathematica.